Welcome to the poverty game. Question 1. People living in poverty have described poverty as A. A lack of money B. Hunger and unclean water C. Inadequate shelter or D. All of the above A. A. A lack of money D. All of the above Yes, the correct answer is D. All of the above. It's not just measured by money or income. Question 2. People living in poverty have described poverty as A. Being sick and not being able to see a doctor B. Having limited access to school and not knowing how to read C. Fearing for tomorrow and living one day at a time or D. All of the above A. Being sick It's B. D. All of the above Yes, that's correct. D. All of the above If you're a girl, have a disability or live in a war zone, you're more likely to live in poverty. There are a range of economic, social, technological, political and environmental causes for poverty and spatial inequality. Some of Australia's neighbours live in nations that are stuck in a cycle of poor infrastructure, low investment and low trade. Some are particularly vulnerable to climate change and geographic isolation, especially in rural areas. If countries are poor, that means governments struggle to provide essential services or opportunities for all of their people. Good schools, hospitals, safe water and roads take a lot of money to build and maintain. If communities are poor, isolated or vulnerable to environmental disasters, it's difficult for families to thrive. It's hard to find employment, access health services and build safe homes and a better future for children. If parents are poor, they can't afford to send their children to school or get them immunised or provide them with enough food to eat. When generation after generation suffers from sickness, lack of education and opportunities to earn a fair wage, the cycle of poverty threatens to repeat itself again and again and again. For our final question, in the last 20 years the percentage of people living in extreme poverty has A. Doubled B. Remained the same C. Halved D. All of the above uh, A. A. C. Yes, the correct answer is C. In the last 20 years, the percentage of people living in extreme poverty around the world has halved. It's gone from 36% to 18%. While poverty and spatial inequality are major issues for human well-being, there is evidence of change for the better. Effective aid and development strategies work with increasing trade to improve human well-being for communities around the world.